Jake and Joy. We are back for our ninth season. Can you even believe it? No. I mean, you're hardly even like old enough to have been doing this for nine seasons, right? <laughs> One of the things that we always like to do in our episodes is uh, show it, showcase a product that we've been using for 27 years, a product line. And we can do so many things with it. And one of the things that we like to do are make little energy bites. Yeah. And th these were, did we make these when you were little? Not a lot. So a little bit, but it wasn't as popular. Mostly just had it as smoothies, but now we really use them a lot in little bites. I think we made the um, ones with peanut butter and chocolate Not like as all the time. And, as we and, do now. And, and oats. And I just made them by hand, yeah. which you can still do. So I want people to know that you don't have to have a food processor. This particular recipe we got out of a, of a cookbook that um, other people that we work with actually combine and if you want that information just drop us a note and we'll we'll get you that recipe book and you can even get this the um the little powder that we use the uh, smoothie superfood smoothie mix that we use to make these and we can show you how to get it um, at a really good price so before we get started the ingredients so you can get them all together we need 16 dates pitted one teaspoon cinnamon a quarter teaspoon cayenne one serving of our chocolate complete powder Half a cup of nut pieces, so whether you want to do walnuts, we did almonds, two tablespoons of chia seeds, two tablespoons cacao nibs, and a quarter cup of cacao powder. Every season we have to make at least one of these because Derek won't come and work with us yes. if we don't. That's how I have the energy to keep yeah. up with you two all what? day long. <laughs> What's your favorite one? Uh, the complete balls, the peanut butter, is are the best. The peanut butter peanut ones? Butter. Yeah, okay. by far. Chocolate peanut butter is okay. to die for. It tastes like a treat, tons of energy. It's amazing. Cool. Well, we're going to do one with peanut butter this season. If um, I, I can't remember. Yeah, we haven't shot it yet, but we're going to do one with peanut butter, so you'll get that in. Now, this one is actually at, like a superfood complete ball. Some of the some of the complete balls are just like, oh, they're delicious, and they're kind of like cookie dough, yeah, and like that kind of thing. But we always try to get as much uh, nutrition packed into our complete balls because Jameson likes these, right? He does. He loves yeah, these. Yeah, and it's a great way to get your kids to have it, something that's you know, a treat to them, but yeah. it's actually really good for them. Your kids or your video guy. Or your yeah. video guy, yeah. yes. Yeah. We, we like to keep them healthy. <laughs> All right, so this recipe calls for dates. And you can get dates that are pre-pitted, and Eric, I kind of recommend that for you. Why? Why do you say that? <laughs> Why would someone not take the pits out? <laughs> and then eat them afterwards. Anyway. Yeah. yeah, that sounds like, is that something Jameson would do? <laughs> I don't know, but first we're going to put 16 dates and they've been halved, and we're going to put them into a food processor. And you'll be happy to know I got a new food processor. What happened to the legacy food processor? The legacy food processor Jake now has. Yes. So this is, and you know, they don't even make this one anymore. We had to go through, I had to get this on eBay. And I don't know why, because this is like a huge, humongous, like holds 16 cups, and I love it. I still have trouble getting the top on this. You need a boy to help you with this one? Um, no, it's just, I just, okay, there we go. So it calls for you to get these into kind of a paste. More of a, that's more of a ball. It's more than of a, a paste. Yes. Can you tell us about the health benefits yes, of dates? Yes. Not while you're. Yeah. Not while not you're doing, while that, I'm but, doing that. So um, they're that is really high a ball. in. Yeah. <laughs> they're high in fiber, which is really great. They're an awesome natural sweetener. So I make a lot of stuff for Jameson using dates instead of other types of sugar. So that's awesome. And actually, it helps to lower blood sugar. So it does the opposite of a traditional sugar of spiking blood sugar. It actually right. keeps it right. stable. Helps with brain health and it actually helps promote natural labor. So they actually recommend eating dates when you're trying to go into labor as well. Did you do that? I did do that. Didn't did work, you? Oh, but okay. I did do it. Now we're going to add the dry ingredients and this calls for a, um, a half a cup of nuts and it, it asks for walnuts, but I'm not a fan of walnuts. Plus I didn't have any. <laughs> So that's what so, really happens. So, so I'm using almonds because I love almonds and I have three packages of them. Perfect. So it's great. Also, can, for, can you get already chopped almonds? You can. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to chop, if you're like busy and right, don't but most chop them. things, the, the antioxidant qualities get. Now there are some things that that's the, not true, like chopped carrots. Right. They actually increase in antioxidant. Uh, uh, content when you cut when them. you when you cut them. I yeah. don't know if that's true. Like when you buy them packaged. Yeah, I don't know. So I don't know. I don't but anyway, know. we're gonna add two tablespoons of chia seeds as a superfood. I always want to add as much superfood as I can. Two tablespoons of cocoa nibs that I'm only adding because they're really nutritious for you. Yeah, and they and the crunch they're, is they're, very nice. And they're I like delicious. the crunch a lot. And then a teaspoon of cinnamon. And what I'm really excited about is this kind of kick of cayenne pepper. Mm. So this is just a quarter of a teaspoon. Jameson probably won't eat those, but you don't we'll think find so? out. Well, we'll find out. Okay. More for me. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We're going to mix that all together. 
using my I was like, very I like specific your, your tools that you have. My there. very specific tools. I think people that. Is that the pregnancy that. test tool? <laughs> <laughs> I think that one is like your teaspoon. It does look like yeah. a pregnancy test. I do love these. This is by Pampered Chef, and you can do it a teaspoon all the way down to a quarter of an eighth of a teaspoon. Yeah. And I've got one that goes from uh, a, it's like a tablespoon and a half. Yeah. All the way down to a teaspoon. This is nice. You only have to have one, one piece right. instead of trying so to find right, your pieces. Right, yeah. right. All right. We're going to add this to the food processor. Okay. To your paste, not paste. To my paste, ball. not paste. Let's hope we'll this see works. see if this works. If it doesn't, we'll I just really like to... that people just get to come along on the ride. <laughs> now, you know, if you don't have a food processor, you could chop the dates up yeah. and just mush it together mm -hmm. with your hands. Another technical term, mm -hmm. another technical cooking term. If you go to the um, Sarbonne, that's what they, or what's the famous French uh, Cordon Bleu. Yeah. They'll teach you that term, smush. That's a, yes. that's a very yeah. important. But if you say it with a French accent, it's better. Yeah. Right? Smoosh. The smoosh. Yeah, the smoosh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that looks smushed enough. Yeah. All right, now with these, it, they are a little bit more mealy than some of the other ones that we do. But I found that with this recipe book, that's how they are. Right. When she, when she They also the suggest um, moistening your hands to, to, to roll okay. them. Yeah. Okay. Let's and the here. last little piece is filling a Ziploc with a quarter cup of cacao powder. And once again, this is a superfood. This is fermented cacao, which I found out that all cacao is fermented. Oh, that's cool. It just says it on the front. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. And it also, th this brand I really like, first of all, it was on sale, but second of all, it, it has this thing inside of it that keeps it from getting sticky, from sticking together. So it's really, see that? Mm. It's a non-stick thing. You don't eat that. No, you don't eat that. So we're going to roll these balls, balls with little wet hands. Um, and guess what? What? We forgot the complete. <laughs> forgot the main ingredient. The main ingredient. <laughs> All right. We're going to add the, the complete, the chocolate complete, which is one of our favorites. Now, this is a superfood smoothie mix. Listen to what it has in it. Um, it has fructooglosaccharides, which come from uh, artichokes, just some artichokes, plant cellulose, chickpea powder, soy fiber, uh, a pea protein, rice protein, sprouts and ancient grains, broccoli sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, radish sprouts, organic amaranth. I mean, when's the last time you had organic amaranth? I had some for breakfast. <laughs> I, I never eat organic amaranth. So we're going to add one serving of that to this amazing... That's a reason to, when you take your food processor off, to not take the blade out just right away. Because right. you never know if you forgot something. You never something. know if you screwed and it's really hard out. to get it back on when you're taking the blade really out. It is really hard. Hopefully I've got it in there. Let's cross fingers. Okay, here, let's try it. Yay! Okay, now it's complete. Now we're actually ready. <laughs> now it's complete. You guys okay. really get to come along for the whole ride with us. All it's right. great. So we are going to take these out. Now, this is a lot drier than it was, so we're really going to have to have wet hands. And we're going to squish it into balls. And we're going to see if it works. Balls. It does. It does. You just have to have wet hands. That's all. Wet hands, and we're gonna roll them into little balls. And you can, you know, if you like them larger, you can make them larger. We like them more bite sized, so you can just do one, yeah. one bite pieces, yeah. but like, you can decide. D Some Derek likes like... them the size of a snowball. Yeah. <laughs> Eat like a meatball. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna roll all of this up. We won't do it on camera because you don't need to see it, but we're gonna roll it all up. We're gonna shake it in the cacao powder. Now, see, this one's a little bit different size. Some people are so good at these, they make them perfect. It's really we're not, crazy. We're That's not, like not that. us. We're not that way. So yeah. we're going to also now shake it in the bag. And it's going to coat them really nicely. I like to have them frozen. Uh, some people just like them room temperature. Some people like them refrigerated. I'm going to put these into the bag. Zip it up. Shake it up. Are your hands dry? No. <laughs> I guess you could also put the, the cacao into a little dish and roll them, but this might be more time efficient if you put oh, them Oh, look how cute ones. that is. Look how cute those are. dust them off a little bit. They're really, really covered in. You're such a nag. Well, you're going to get a mouthful of cacao. That's only. okay. Okay. I'm going to keep rolling these. Okay. Keep on rolling. Keep on rolling. Anyway, I think they're going to be pretty good. You want to try one? 
Probably dust them off a little bit. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> it's like you only taste cacao powder. No, you don't. I know. They're really good, but they're really good, but dust them. I think if you don't if you don't love cacao powder, I would put it into a dish and roll them in because you'd get less. So it depends on what. Oh, you that's get. a good idea. On each person, if you like to have them mm -hmm. covered. But do or you not. taste that cayenne? Oh yeah. I do. It's kind of like, like the last good. kick. Yeah. It's actually really good. So once you've rolled them all, we're going to put them into a parchment lined little pan and put them in your freezer or your fridge. If you put them in the freezer, they'll last forever. If you put them in your fridge, they'll probably last for about a week. Put them in front of Derek, they'll last 10 minutes. Yes. That's right. That's exactly right. <laughs> there you have it, you guys. Our, our um, It's called Spice It Up. They're uh, cacao coated energy bites and they're so full of just so much good for you. I hope you love them. See you next time.